I have nothing special to offer. I hear that every single week from aspiring entrepreneurs who want to graduate corporate life, but they have this belief that there's nothing special about them, that they are just this default ho-hum person that if they were to start their own business, they would not be successful because there's no unique ideas, no special talents. Today, I want to absolutely destroy that belief. It is the number one limiting belief that's keeping you from graduating corporate, from building something unique and valuable into the market. Because guess what? You are sitting on a gold mine. You've just never been made aware on how to do that, how to uncover it, how to bring it to life for people you're meant to serve. Talking about building a new active income source, a business that sets your heart on fire. And it's all dependent on figuring out what that special thing is inside of you. Let's dive in. Welcome to Uncage Yourself. I'm Matt Doan. On this show, we explore strategies to help family-focused professionals smartly graduate corporate life and build entrepreneurial freedom. Our goal, maximize freedom, income, and impact. See MatthewDone.com for more. Now, let's dive in. Do you doubt that you have something special to offer? If you do, you're not alone. So you've been in default paths for years, decades at this point, maybe climbing a corporate ladder, plugging in, following the checklists, succeeding in other people's systems. So when you step back and you think about exiting that and becoming an entrepreneur, creating a new active income source, a business of your own creation, not like passive income stuff, but really a business of your own design, you're going to have doubts because you never have tried that. You've never explored it. And most likely you haven't hung around any people that have done that either. So of course, fear, uncertainty, and doubt is going to rule you if you let it. And you think that I have nothing special to offer. Well, I want to completely destroy that belief with you today because that belief of I have nothing special to offer is one of the most damaging beliefs any aspiring entrepreneur can have and realize that our beliefs determine our actions and therefore our reality. So rather than explore your potential, you stay sucked into this belief. In turn, you accept mediocrity, labels, ceilings, boxes. You stay comfortably glued to that default path. You say, there's nothing special about me. And you let that belief rule you. Now, the consequences of that choice should be utterly clear to you. If you're listening to this podcast, you're probably frustrated with the way things are. You know you're meant for more, but you've got to stare that down in the mirror. Do you have a belief of something like, I have nothing special to offer? We need to destroy that, my friend. Now, maybe you're trying to get around that through an easy button. The common one I see literally every day is for people to scratch that entrepreneurial itch, to edge out of corporate life, to solve that through passive income. So they seek the right vehicle. They say, oh, maybe I can invest in that franchise, in that real estate, buy a boring business for cash flow. Okay, while those things all have their merit, they do. They are not going to get you out of your pain right now. You are suffering. You are not happy. Work is deeply affecting your personal life. I know this because I talk to this person literally every two to three hours in my work days. So just finding the right passive income vehicle, choosing the right one, can you see how that won't work? You aren't fixing what's going wrong inside of you. You're not happy. And just plugging into yet another person's system not one of your own design, but another person's system, just like corporate, it's not going to work. You still have this void inside of you. So don't try to solve your pain through passive income. Now, back to that belief of you having nothing special to offer. I need you to hear this right now. All your talents, all your interests, and everything you've ever overcome, collectively, that's your genius. It makes you inherently special because no one has ever had the exact life you have. You are sitting on a gold mine. You are so powerful. You are truly one of one. And that is something you cannot deny. You are one of one. And when you look at yourself, maybe in the corporate sense, in your career sense, yeah, your skill set, your resume, your LinkedIn profile, whatever, that may look very comparable to hundreds of thousands or millions of people. 
but you are one of one. Your story, your journey, everything you've ever overcome is a superpower. That all makes you one of one. You need to believe that so you can proceed into entrepreneurship. And realize there are people out there, whether that be individuals or organizations, who are desperate for your help right now. Now, again, you might look at your very corporate looking resume or LinkedIn profile and judge your potential based on that. But believe me, that is a ridiculously myopic view. Hey, are you done with corporate life? Are you ready to leverage your success and finally build entrepreneurial freedom? If so, check out uncagedworkshop.com for my secret guide on smartly graduating corporate and building a business you love. It's a short training video that could forever change how you experience work and life. Head to uncagedworkshop.com or see the link in the show notes. Now, back to the show. Though, I get why you do that, right? Your brain can only want what it's seen before. So you've only been in corporate, you've only been exposed to that type of thinking, so you only believe that's what's possible for your future. You determine your future based on your past. Well, we need to broaden our minds, broaden our exposure to people that have graduated corporate life and built something wonderful and new and exciting. That's where we are right now. That is my obsession. So you've only been surrounded by corporate people and systems, not entrepreneurs. And I say this with love, but so far, my friend, you've only been a cog in a machine. And the reason you're still a cog, and again, I say that with love, is that you haven't learned to make something out of nothing. You've never been in a situation where you've been forced to make that transformation, to build that skill set. You haven't seen people take raw material from their lives, package it into their genius confidently, and then deliver it as a unique business in this world, offering special value. The trick here is to see beyond that boring corporate past. That's a very limited view of your life. It's like 1% of your whole life is what you've done in corporate, okay? You must go through a process instead to uncover this genius, to unleash it as a valuable online business. This is the way I found to have the most freedom, income, and impact is through that online transformational business, as I talk about all the time. You want to hear some examples? Let's talk about what some of my clients have created lately. One business has been focused on empowering the parents of autistic children to be their most holistic selves so they can take care of themselves and be there for their kids. Secondly, another one of my clients helps modernize small contractors who have been in their businesses for a long time so that they can have lucrative exits and great retirements. Or one of my clients who's focused on destroying the notion of retirement through generational wealth building so that people can really focus on their families and building that next chapter where they're inspiring them. This is a new type of business out there as well. And just realize these businesses, like I'm talking about with my clients, they're founded on something uniquely personal to them. We call it a personal category. You can check out episode 104 for what we mean by designing your personal category. This is where you create your business as a full expression of yourself, where you take all of your genius and you infuse it into a category, which talks about this brand new future you are creating for people. And then you invite people into it and you deliver them value through your business. Check out episode 104 for more about that. Now, the key to all of this, right, where you're taking your genius, you're infusing it into your own category, and you're inviting people in, all of this relies on energy. You need energy at levels you've not experienced in decades, probably. Because unlike corporate, these people, like my clients, are energized by the work that they have designed. They're not just plugging into the best system, the so-called dream job, which is never a dream anyways, but they've designed it, they owned it, they are the founder. You wanna talk about feeling alive and excited and jumping out of bed on a Monday morning? It's because you design and own something. We cannot negate how powerful that is as humans. We want control, we want that excitement to feel proud, to inspire our family, impact lives, all of that. That's why we go after designing our own business rather than plugging into the right vehicle out there like in passive income or another job. And when I talk about my clients, I get so excited because I know they are literally jumping out of bed on Monday mornings, no longer tied up in Sunday scaries, but they're so excited to do their work, to serve people they care about. And 
they're really fixated, again, on the people that they are meant to serve. We call it their magnetic match, where there's this magnetism between you, the business owner, and them, the clients or customers. And it feels so strong, so appealing both ways that it feels magnetic, like you were born to do this type of work. Like one of my clients that empowers the parents of autistic children, he raised his daughter through all the stages of early and mid and late childhood autism. That took a toll on him. And he learned a lot. Now he is expertly positioned to serve the person he once was, and he's turned it into a business. So could you see how empowering and valuable that could be? Yes, it's lucrative. We want to solve for that, but it's purposeful. And that purpose is the fuel for their business success. Literally, with my clients here, everyone who comes in contact with them feels their passion, which creates more trust, more magnetism. That's the feeling you want. That's what powers the flywheel of your new business. It's not just picking a logical thing. It is literally like you feel on fire for it. It's fueled by your genius. You're serving people you really give a damn about. And that's what makes the business go round. Yes, you need strategies and tactics. That's for another time. Right now, I want you to know, you have something special to offer. I have yet to meet anyone who's come to me and we get into the weeds and we don't find something super special and unique. And then we just have to go through the process of framing and naming and claiming it, sharing it to the outside world. That's its own strategy. Okay. But this is your business. This is your future. No longer just plugging into someone else's gym franchises or following their rules or choosing another job. This movement from graduating corporate to building something of your own is so transformative. It is simple, but it is hard. It's all of those things, but it is ridiculously rewarding if you put your full heart and soul into it. And your family is going to look at you like, oh my goodness, who is this person becoming? This is amazing. So you've got two options ahead of you, my friend. And before we talk about what those are, I want you to know that you have something special to offer. And if you want to dissect what that looks like, I encourage you, please book a breakthrough session with us at matthewdone.com forward slash talk, or check out the link in the show notes. This is where we will get to the bottom of that belief that might be blocking you right now. And we show you what's possible so that you can really start taking those brave steps of ramping down corporate life and building entrepreneurial freedom. You know in your heart, if you've been listening to me for a while, that you deserve this. We've got to override that belief, destroy that fear, come to that session, heart open, ready to go in. You'll see what's possible. So back to those two options for your future. Number one, you can keep arguing for your limitations. You can maintain that story of I have nothing special to offer, you can keep suffering through this current path, keep blaming your circumstances and attempting those boring or long-term moves for freedom with passive income. Again, they have their play, but they're not going to get you out of your pain anytime soon. Number two, though, that option means choose your genius. Here, you can enter an environment and process that creates this extreme discomfort inside of you. You need this. It's the only way that growth happens. And with this discomfort, it will force you to see just how special you are. And you start to unearth these unique genius attributes, channel it for people who need you as part of a business. And we teach you how to do all of that, of course, but it all rests on that. In turn, you can start to build this freedom, impact lives, and inspire your family. And I got to ask, what more could you want? Really? Dive deep. Choose your genius. Stop arguing for your limitations. This whole belief of I have nothing special to offer simply means you have yet to try. You have yet to invest in yourself. You have yet to enter an environment, trust a process, whatever, that helps you see what is possible. Again, your brain can only want what it's seen before. So if it's never seen anything like what I'm talking about, of course, you're going to stay stuck and comfortable. Don't let that happen. Choose your genius. We'll talk soon. Thanks for listening to Uncage Yourself. Check out matthewdone.com to subscribe to the podcast and view our services and helpful resources. If you enjoy the show, please rate and review us on Apple Podcasts or wherever you're listening, or just tell a friend. Talk soon.